This is the new Porsche 911. I think, as usual, you need to squint to see the changes, but they are there. Also there, more power and more technology. This is the 2020 Porsche 911. No one is surprised that the new 911 takes an evolutionary approach to its design, but there are some interesting tributes to the model's long history of glacial design progress. Our favorite touch is perhaps the most subtle. After generations with a flat, featureless hood, the 992 gets a subtle inset that harkens back to the 993 and earlier models. It's an easy thing to miss, but it looks fantastic. Another callback to vintage 911s is the tail-spanning light bar. The slim LED ribbon blends into the rounded tail during the day, but presents a striking figure at night. From behind, the 911 will be unmistakable. And while not a callback to yesteryear's models, we can't help but love the vertical brake lights below the rear window. We also can't help but love the performance. The Carrera S and the Carrera 4S, the 992's twin Pathfinder models, are both powered by a 3-liter turbocharged flat 6 producing 443 horsepower. Made it up to a standard 8-speed dual-clutch transmission and with the optional Sport Chrono package, the 4S can get to 60 in just 3.2 seconds. The two-wheel drive S model does the same deed in just a tenth of a second less. The cabin features a new digital cockpit design along with a larger infotainment display. The overall look brings the 911 in line with other new Porsches, like the Cayenne and Panamera. We're less fond of the stubby shift lever for the dual-clutch transmission. It looks like a miniaturized electric shaver. Thankfully, a manual transmission model is in the works. Prices for the two-wheel drive Carrera S start at $113,200. Going for the all-wheel drive model brings the price to $120,600. Both vehicles will begin deliveries starting this summer.